Hello again, and um, today we've been given access to Harrogate Hill Methodist Church to have a look at the organ here. Um, a really nice instrument, actually. Um, as you can see, it's a detached console, which I personally really like because you're away from the actual pipe work and it gives you a much better idea of whether you're playing too loud or too soft for the congregation, obviously for hymn singing, etc. Um, and you just get a much better overall sound within the building of what the organ's actually doing. This organ was built, it does say, by JJ Bins Fitton and Haley Limited, who I think would be better known as JJ Bins Organ Builder. A really nice organ, as you can see, it's two manual um, with a concave radiating pedal board. It has a balanced swell pedal. It has four tow pistons. The two to the right seem to operate the grate in increasing volume, and the left operates the swell in increasing volume. So let's just go through the stops. Uh, starting on this side, uh, we have the grate. Uh, we have an eight foot open diapason and that really has some volume. An eight foot Lieblickgedacht. A Dulciana, which is a lovely soft string. Principle. And four foot harmonic flute. But altogether that really sounds effective and powerful. Below that we have two pedal stops. We have the 16 foot Borden and an eight foot flute. which are above the swell keyboard there's four of them all together we have the swell super which will be the super octave which will give us an octave above what we're actually playing and that will make up for the fact that we don't have a two foot on this organ at all so that's really important to have um, certainly to brighten up the sound we have a swell sub octave which is the same as I've just explained, but it's an octave below. I personally wouldn't use that very much because it sounds very muddy. Haven't tried it yet, but I guess it would. Um, swell to great super and a swell to great sub. So they're absolutely the same. What that would mean is that the swell and the choir would both play an octave above what we're physically playing. Um, that's definitely there to make up for the fact that we don't have the two foot, so that's brilliant. Moving over to the swell organ, which is to the left, we have a pretty standard set of stops actually um, it's very difficult to get the camera in here but we have a, a violin diapason an eight foot we have a raw flute eight foot a solitional eight foot a voxeleste eight foot 
a four foot gems horn. It's difficult to read. Um, and we have a reed, we have an oboe, and we have a tremulant. You can actually hear that working away. Quite a powerful dromulant. We have some more couplers there at the bottom. We have a swell to great, a swell to pedal, and a great to pedal, which joins obviously everything together. Really a nice, small, compact, but very effective organ. And so the only thing really missing on this organ, in my opinion, is a two foot. That would really brighten things up. But as I've already mentioned, there is a super octave and there's a um, swell to great super octave as well. Let's have a quick go through a hymn and see what it sounds like. Full welly. Sorry that was a fleeting visit, but thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this organ and please do subscribe, do comment and do like and do share. Um, that would really help me to get around some more organs and to share them with you. So thanks again. Bye for now.